Laozi's philosophy, rooted in the notion that existence emerges from non-existence, resonates across diverse religious and philosophical traditions. In Hinduism, the concept of Brahman serves as the cosmic source from which all life emanates. Similarly, monotheistic religions espouse divine creation ex nihilo, where the universe springs forth from the void at the will of a supreme being. Ancient Greek philosophers contemplated the precedence of existence over non-existence, while mystical traditions depict reality as unfolding from a primal state of non-being. These parallels underscore the universality of Laozi's ideology, highlighting its timeless relevance and profound insights into the nature of existence. Laozi elucidated in my third and fourth lectures that the Tao engenders oneness, from which emerges two-ness, then threeness, and eventually, the myriad of things. For those seeking clarity, a review of the preceding two episodes is recommended. But what exactly is the process through which the Tao births all things? Laozi unravels this enigma in Chapter 4. He describes it as a dance between existence and non-existence, a merging of the real and the unreal. To the ordinary observer, this process appears nebulous, fluctuating, and elusive, a dynamic interplay of blurred lines. Yet, to those who have traversed the path of profound emptiness, embracing stillness and authenticity, attaining enlightenment, this once obscure process becomes lucid. What seemed indistinct and ever-changing now crystallizes into vivid reality. Welcome back to The Tao Te Ching Unveiled, with me, your host, Echo East. Lecture 8. Chapter 5 of the Tao section of the authentic edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching. Chapter 5, Overview. Chapter 5 provides a vivid depiction by Laozi of the Tao's process of giving birth to myriad things, with a special focus on the emergence of oneness. This oneness, known as Tai Yi, as I explained in Lecture 3, Tai Yi is revered as the highest and most exalted state, where the virtual and the real seamlessly merge into one. Many find this chapter challenging to grasp. Even after repeated study, its essence remains elusive. It may seem as if Laozi is describing the mystical and incomprehensible process of the Tao giving birth to all things, leaving readers perplexed. However, this difficulty does not arise from Laozi's deliberate attempts to obfuscate, but rather from the inherent limitations of language in accurately conveying such profound concepts. In Chapter 5, Laozi as an enlightened being, simply recounts his first-hand observations of the Tao's generative process in a straightforward manner. The crux of Chapter 5 lies in comprehending that, from the perspective of an enlightened individual, the previously nebulous and fluctuating process of the Tao's creation becomes lucid. After enlightenment, what was once obscure becomes clear, and what was once misunderstood becomes understood. Perplexities dissipate, and pains and troubles fade away. In this state, the self becomes more transparent and adaptable to life. Concurrently, practical aspects of existence flow more smoothly, leading to a more fulfilling and valuable life. Therefore, within this discourse, I intend to offer insights derived from enlightenment and reflections on the importance of comprehending interconnectedness with all beings for spiritual enhancement. Let's go to the text. 第五章,恍惚咬明,道之为物。唯恍唯乎，万物以时已成，而不知其所以然。故曰：恍惚中有物，忽恍中有相，杳明中有精，明了中有信。自古及今，其名不去，以顺重大，无何以知重大之然，以此。Chapter Five Boundless Compassion. The Tao as a thing wavers dimly and vaguely. It is the beginning and the completion of all things. Yet its workings are mysterious and unknown. Therefore, it is said, within the dim and vague, there exists substance. Within the elusive and evasive, there exists form. Within the deep and obscure, there exists essence. Within the profound and dark, there exists truth. From ancient times to the present, that which I have described has not departed. Therefore, it can embrace and encompass the vast universe. How do I know the nature of this all-embracing compassion? By seeing this. Detailed explanation. With the foundation laid by our study of previous chapters, the text of chapter 5 becomes much more accessible to everyone. Therefore, there's no need for me to dissect every word and phrase. Instead, 
I aim to distill a few key points to help everyone grasp and comprehend the essence of this chapter. 1. The Tao's Elusive and Mysterious Nature The Tao is described by Laozi as something that wavers dimly and vaguely, its workings mysterious and unknown. This suggests that the Tao is beyond our ordinary perception and understanding. 2. Substance, Form, Essence, and Truth Within the Tao Within the dim and vague nature of the Tao, there exists substance, form, essence, and truth. This implies that the Tao contains the fundamental building blocks and principles that give rise to one and then to all things in the universe. 3. Timelessness and Universality of the Tao The Tao has existed from ancient times to the present, and its description remains unchanged. This highlights the timeless and universal nature of the Tao, suggesting that it transcends specific cultures, beliefs, and eras. 4. Embracing and Encompassing the Vast Universe The Tao's ability to embrace and encompass the vast universe stems from its all-inclusive nature. It contains and encompasses everything that exists, from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. 5. Knowing the Nature of the Tao's Compassion to understand the nature of the Tao's all-embracing compassion, one must see it directly. This suggests that intellectual understanding alone is not enough, one must experience the Tao's compassion directly through meditation, contemplation, or other spiritual practices. In essence, this passage highlights the mysterious and elusive nature of the Tao, its timelessness and universality, its all-encompassing nature, and the importance of direct experience in understanding its compassionate essence. In Chapter 5, Laozi draws upon his own enlightenment experience to provide an intricate description of the process by which the Tao gives birth to one. He establishes the Tao as the origin of all existence, emphasizing that the process of creation is a continuous interplay between non-existence and existence, reality, and illusion. This process appears shrouded in obscurity, fluctuating between brightness and dimness, characterized by a dynamic, changing nature that seems elusive and difficult to grasp. However, Laozi assures us that through diligent cultivation, one can attain a state of consciousness that allows for a clear and profound understanding of this process. By reaching a state of emptiness and tranquil dedication, the seemingly flickering, indistinct, and chaotic nature of creation transforms into a tangible and undeniable reality. This encompasses not only the myriad forms of existence but also the void from which they arise, revealing the essential nature of all things. Through poetic language and vivid imagery, Laozi invites readers to transcend their ordinary perceptions and experience the world from a higher perspective, where the boundaries between existence and non-existence, reality and illusion, dissolve away. He challenges us to embrace the paradoxical and enigmatic nature of the Tao. Furthermore, Laozi provides guidance on the path to enlightenment, highlighting the importance of cultivating the state of emptiness and tranquil dedication. This state allows us to experience the Tao's all-encompassing compassion, which extends to every aspect of existence, regardless of differences or circumstances. This compassion is not conditional or based on merit but is an unconditional love that flows freely and abundantly, nurturing and sustaining all things. To comprehend the nature of the Tao's compassion, we must first recognize its vastness and impartiality. It embraces all beings, including humans, living creatures, and even the inanimate world. This all-inclusive compassion is not limited to our ordinary perceptions but extends to the deepest levels of reality. Ultimately, the nature of the Tao's all-embracing compassion is a mystery that can only be truly understood through direct experience. It is a journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening, leading us to a deeper understanding of our place in the universe and our interconnectedness with all beings. Insights Gained from Chapter 5 1. The Tao is the ultimate reality and the source of all existence. 2. The process of creation is a continuous interplay between non-existence and existence, reality, and illusion. 3. This process of creation appears elusive and difficult to grasp, but through diligent cultivation, one can attain a deeper understanding. 4. By reaching a state of emptiness and tranquil dedication, we can experience the true nature of reality, encompassing both the myriad forms of existence and the void from which they arise. 5. The Tao's compassion is all-encompassing, extending to every aspect of existence, regardless of differences or circumstances. 6. This compassion is not conditional or based on merit but is an unconditional love that flows freely and abundantly. 7. To comprehend the nature of the Tao's compassion, we must recognize its vastness and impartiality. 8. Ultimately, 
The nature of the Tao's compassion is a mystery that can only be truly understood through direct experience. Key Takeaway from this chapter Chapter 5 invites us to transcend our ordinary perceptions and experience the world from a higher perspective, where we can embrace the paradoxical and enigmatic nature of the Tao and cultivate a deep connection with the natural world and our inner selves. This journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening leads us to a deeper understanding of our place in the universe and our interconnectedness with all beings. Sharing my insights on enlightenment or awakening. In Lecture 4, Chapter 1 Part 2, I emphasized, tapping in is awareness, striding out is wisdom. Tapping in is awakening, striding out is enlightenment. Only by tapping into and striding out can you achieve essential enhancement, only by tapping into and striding out could you get a new version of yourself. These expressions encapsulate profound truths. Tapping in signifies the crucial first step of becoming aware and awakening to deeper insights within oneself. It's the journey towards understanding one's essence and the fundamental nature of existence. Striding out, on the other hand, represents the active application of this wisdom gained through introspection. It's about translating inner awareness into tangible actions and choices, thereby embodying enlightenment and facilitating personal growth. The significance lies in the transformative power of these concepts. Through tapping into awareness and striding out with wisdom, one can undergo essential enhancement and emerge as a renewed version of oneself. This journey encompasses not just understanding but also embodying the profound truths of existence, leading to a deeper connection with oneself and the world. Imagine standing at the threshold of a mysterious gate, where awareness dawns upon its existence, prompting exploration into its profound depths. This awakening isn't merely a fleeting realization but a transformative experience that reshapes one's perception of reality. However, realization alone isn't sufficient, one must also stride out of this metaphorical gate. This calls for wisdom, the ability to apply newfound awareness to daily life and navigate its complexities with clarity and discernment. An enlightened being not only comprehends these truths but embodies them in thoughts, words, and actions, emanating inner peace, wisdom, and compassion. Enlightenment isn't a static destination but an ongoing journey of growth and transformation. It transcends the confines of the ego, fostering a connection with the universal consciousness. It's a path leading towards harmony, fulfillment, and self-realization, a journey that commences with tapping into the mysteries of existence and extends to becoming a guiding light of wisdom and compassion in the world. In essence, enlightenment or awakening is about transcending the limitations of the ego and connecting with the universal consciousness. It's a journey towards greater harmony, fulfillment, and self-realization, a journey that begins with tapping into the mysteries of existence and continues with striding out into the world as a beacon of wisdom and compassion. Methods or practices to attain enlightenment vary widely across different spiritual traditions and philosophies. They often include techniques such as meditation, contemplation, self-inquiry, mindfulness, and spiritual study. These practices are designed to quiet the mind, cultivate awareness, and deepen one's connection to the underlying truth of existence. While the specific methods may differ, the underlying goal remains the same, to awaken to the inherent wisdom and clarity that lie within each individual. We will delve into these practices more deeply in our ongoing lectures as we explore the path to enlightenment further. Insights on the importance of comprehending interconnectedness with all beings. Embracing interconnectedness is a path to harmony and compassion. The idea of interconnectedness with all beings holds profound significance, yet its depth often eludes many, confined to the surface of understanding. Especially in our interactions with others, we tend to overlook the inherent ties that bind us, trapped as we are in the societal narrative of differentiation, you are you, I am I. However, true spiritual growth demands breaking free from these egoic confines and rediscovering the essence of our interconnected existence, where the lines between self and other blur, and all beings are woven into the fabric of existence. In this exploration, it's crucial to note that while I do not deny the existence of differences or uniqueness among individuals, my emphasis lies in returning to the spiritual realm, to the essence of true self. At this level, the fundamental traits, or one might say, the essence, of human beings are alike and deeply interconnected. The differences we perceive between individuals primarily arise from the processes and conditions of personal development, as well as the environmental and educational factors encountered postnatally. Of course, each individual possesses innate frequencies, shapes, or colors of primordial energy, 
differing fundamentally due to variations in the celestial energy fields at the time of birth. Hence, everyone inherently carries certain traits from birth, a topic we may delve into further in the future. Enlightenment entails aligning oneself with the Tao, discovering the true self, which allows one to perceive the intrinsic connection between individuals. Consequently, a spontaneous sense of compassion and profound love arises. To achieve this, we must elevate ourselves in several aspects. 1. Self-alignment, cultivating a deep understanding of oneself and aligning with one's true essence is paramount. Through introspection and self-awareness practices, one can uncover the innate interconnectedness with all beings. 2. Understanding the depth of interconnectedness, interconnectedness transcends mere philosophy, it's the fundamental truth that underpins existence. It's the recognition that every action, thought, and emotion reverberates throughout the cosmos, influencing not just ourselves but the entirety of creation. This awareness extends beyond physical boundaries, encompassing the emotional, spiritual, and energetic realms. Embracing interconnectedness means acknowledging our role as integral parts of a greater whole, where each being contributes to the symphony of life. 3. Compassionate awareness, developing a heightened sense of awareness towards the suffering and joys of others fosters empathy and compassion. This involves transcending personal biases and judgments to recognize the shared humanity in every individual. 4. Dispelling the illusion of separateness, the illusion of separateness is deeply ingrained in human consciousness, perpetuated by societal norms and the relentless pursuit of the ego. From a young age, we're taught to prioritize individuality over unity, fostering a sense of division and competition. Yet, true wisdom lies in transcending this illusion, recognizing that the boundaries between self and other are fluid and permeable. By dismantling the barriers erected by the ego, we open ourselves to a deeper understanding of interconnectedness and our place within the cosmic tapestry. 5. Cultivation of love, nurturing a boundless love that transcends individual differences is essential. By embracing the inherent interconnectedness of all beings, one can extend love and kindness indiscriminately, fostering harmony and unity. 6. Cultivating compassion and empathy, understanding interconnectedness leads to the cultivation of compassion and empathy towards all beings. When we recognize that every individual is interconnected and interdependent, it becomes impossible to ignore the suffering of others. Rather than turning a blind eye, there arises a genuine desire to alleviate suffering and promote the well-being of all. Compassion ceases to be a mere abstract concept and becomes a guiding principle in our interactions with the world. 7. Harmony with the cosmos Embracing interconnectedness isn't just about fostering harmonious relationships with others, it's about aligning ourselves with the greater cosmos. Each being is a unique thread woven into the tapestry of existence, contributing to its beauty and complexity. By acknowledging our interconnectedness, we attune ourselves to the natural rhythms of the universe, finding our place within its cosmic dance. Conclusion in conclusion, embracing interconnectedness with all beings is essential for personal growth, societal harmony, and spiritual evolution. By transcending the illusion of separateness and recognizing our intrinsic unity, we can cultivate compassion, empathy, and harmony in our relationships and contribute to the well-being of the planet. In a world marked by division and conflict, the realization of our interconnectedness offers a beacon of hope for a more compassionate, empathetic, and harmonious future. Quotes for this episode. 1. He who knows the nature of all embracing compassion knows the nature of the Tao. 2. In detachment, we find the freedom to truly connect. 3. The wise understand the power of patience, as rivers carve mountains over time. 4. Silence is the foundation of profound understanding. 5. The Tao is elusive and intangible, yet it is the source of all things. 6. Within the dim and vague, there exists substance, Within the elusive and evasive, there exists form. 7. The Tao's compassion is vast and boundless, encompassing all things, both seen and unseen. 8. By aligning oneself with the Tao, one can experience the true nature of reality and the interconnectedness of all things. That's all for this lecture. Hope you like it. Let the ancient wisdom infuse you with more life energy. Wish you all the best. Please consider subscribing, clicking the bell icon, giving us a thumbs up, and sharing it with your friends. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave a message below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
Thank you for watching.